A local road contractor is building us a series of steel templates to make grooves in the road, which will cause the car's tires to vibrate and make a sound. The closer the grooves, the higher the pitch or note. For this to work, the guys must carry out precision engineering. To make the road we're, we're doing from A through G, spacing's uh, very critical. Um, difference between a couple of the notes are actually just five millimeters. And obviously if we get the spacing wrong, we'll, we'll get a different tone. We've marked out a 490 yard stretch of Route 66. And once the asphalt's hot, we'll use our templates in a predetermined order to create a piece of music. So what's cool about this is how small these grooves are. It's a little bit like a rumble strip, and it doesn't even seem like this could possibly make music. If we've got this right, drivers should hear our song perfectly, but only if they drive at the proper speed. All right, let's see if this thing actually works. Once I've reached the correct speed of 45 miles per hour, it's time to hit the musical road. This is amazing. God shed his grace on thee. You hear that? It's America the Beautiful. This is unbelievable. From sea to shining sea, we're making music on the highway. This is awesome. And as a thanks to our Musical Road sponsor, we've added a familiar jingle at the end. Well, I loved it, but I want to see what the experts think. And our experts come in the shape of the old car club of Albuquerque. Ever since their heyday in the 1950s and 60s, these classic cars have been speeding along this highway and today their owners still feel the buzz of the open road. Well, I like to wrap my pipes up it and open it up, especially with the Roadster. It really sounds super as you're popping through there. I like to speed on this road just because it's an open road, and you can kind of just speed, you know, with an old car and just kind of open it up. So, can our musical mechanism mellow these madcap motorists? <laughs>